What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Apple's brand new iOS 8.3. Now, I've covered the beta versions. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features available for the new version of iOS 8.3. Some we have already covered in my beta reviews, and some are actually new. So let's go ahead and take a look around the new operating system. So one of the most notable changes in iOS 8.3 comes with Siri. Now, Siri adds uh, different languages, as you can see here, different types of English, different types of French, Italian. You also have Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, different types, Swedish, Thai, and Turkish. So Siri now speaks all those languages and also improves uh, support for other searches as well for those countries. And you can also make a uh, speakerphone phone calls with Siri now. So if you just uh, engage Siri and ask her to make a phone call, just add the word speakerphone and it will make that call on speakerphone. Call Danny Game speakerphone. Calling Danny Game on speaker. As you can see there, it adds the speakerphone feature automatically once you engage Siri. The Messages application also got a new feature. If you scroll down to your messages here in your settings application, you will now find a new option which allows you to filter from unknown senders. So if someone is sending you text from an unknown number or an unknown source, you can now go ahead and report as spam and also uh, save it in an individual section here. So every time you get messages sent from unknown senders, it will be on this section here instead of the ones where you keep your regular SMS and also contacts list messages. So that's a very great addition here to the messages application. You can toggle that on and off as you wish and also report spam as well. Now also in the photos application we got a couple of new changes here in the albums tab. If you take panoramic pictures, slow motion videos, all those sections will be sorted depending on the type of images or videos that you've taken. I've, I haven't taken any so those sections are not showing right now but that's one of the new features implemented into the photos application. Also so if you go into the settings here for the photos and cameras, you can see the iCloud library photos has been taken out of beta, so it's ready for prime time for use for everyone. Also under the iTunes and App Store sections, you may now also download applications that are free without having to enter your password, but also Apple gives you a couple options to always require the password or after every 15 minutes. So you do have the option here to not use the password if you're going to download free applications available in the App Store. So that's also also a very well welcome addition here to the App Store as well. A feature that I've already covered in past beta versions of iOS 8.3 is the emoji picker. And as you can see here, the emoji keyboard gives you a endless scroll through all your emojis with more diversity and color, uh, other couples, and also different skin tones and hair colors as you can see there by tapping and holding. That is under the emoji keyboard which you can go ahead and select the one you prefer. Now another welcome addition in iOS 8.3 is the Apple CarPlay option which at first you have to sync your device by the USB cable with your Apple CarPlay but as you can see that the option is not available here on this iPhone 5S but once you sync your device to your CarPlay using the USB adapter every time after that it will sync wirelessly it will connect wirelessly to your Apple CarPlay so you no longer need a wire to connect to your favorite apps while you're driving. So overall, iOS 8.3 is a solid update. Even launching applications just feels a little bit faster in iOS 8.3. I also have it running on my iPhone 4S and it runs really smoothly. I think Apple is really improving on the operating system itself to make it more stable. And of course, that's always good. So this is a quick rundown, guys, of what's new in iOS 8.3. If I find anything else, make sure you follow my blog. I'll post it there. Links will be down below to my social networks. Make sure you follow us there, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. It's been iDevice. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.